Hey guys, uh, this is just another quick tutorial for you. Um, for anyone that's trying to use cloth in Unity 2018.4.20f for say VRChat models or anything along the like. So, I used to like using cloth. Um, issues I was having with it uh, was with the current system that uh, it just wouldn't show up. Like I couldn't edit constraints um, was one big issue I was having when I was activating cloth or trying to do cloth. Uh, so I'm this tutorial is basically here to help you guys problem shoot any issues that you have. Um, this is what I discovered and how I worked it, how to get around it to still use the cloth mechanic. Okay, so just a little bit of groundwork with this, guys. So the root of the problem and why it doesn't work has got to do with pretty much the layout is what I found. Okay, other people might have found other different things, but this is how I found to get it work. So what I would do first is you need to save your current layout because this is to do with basically how you've got like your project tabs, your animation tabs, how you've got your other bits and pieces and your lighting and effects all set up. So come to the top up here next to where you've got layers and stuff like that and just save your current layout. So mine's already saved to current's bag because that's, that's what I use. This is how I've saved it. Don't worry too much about the other spag that's there on my list. Okay, so to show you at the moment, uh, I think mine's actually coming up just because I wanted to test it before this thing, but mine's actually showing up, but it's on the angle. I'll show you how to fix that as well. But if yours isn't showing up at all, this is how you fix that problem. All right, so first off, you need to remove your cloth component if you've already got one there. All right, uh, you need to come up to the top up here. After you've saved your layout, change it back to default. Okay, it'll reload up with all the default settings and stuff like that. Then navigate to your, in my case, mine's the dress. My separate mesh is the dress. Okay. And the thing that I want to make cloth, go add component and now add cloth. And if you click edit constraints, you'll get your dots show up. Okay. From here, you should be okay to change it back to your actual saved layout once you've got the constraint showing up. So we go back to current bag. Okay. So I've got all my tabs back where they all were and everything set up how it was. Now to fix this issue where it's on the angle like that, what that what you do to fix that, we're just going to remove cloth from a moment. Okay, we need to change this root bone here. Change it to your armature. Drag armature into root bone over here. And it puts our bound box back where it needs to be. Okay, now if we go cloth again, add component and add constraints, you can see we've got all of our uh, constraints and stuff where they need to be. Now, the next issue that we've got, they're so big that it's going to be hard to be able to paint it, okay? So what we do to do that, fix that, you need to remove cloth again, okay? Click on your actual model's name, in my case it's called Tiger, and we want to make it bigger than what we actually need. So re my scale at the moment, mine's set to 0 0.9 because I wanted her a little bit shorter than average, okay? But I'm going to make it, for doing the cloth component, I'm going to say make her 20 by 20 by 20. So she's absolutely huge. All right, this just makes it a little bit easier when it comes to painting the cloth component. Now we go back to the dress again. We can see the bound box is still, this is your boundary box or bounds box. We can see that's still around the dress at the moment. We go add component, cloth, edit constraints. And then you can see the dots are all there, but they're a lot smaller and a lot easier to work with. All you need to do from there, okay, Make sure that you've got back faces on there as well, so that you can get the back as well. I do select, and basically I just select an area like so. This is only rough, guys, just to give you an idea on what to do. Uh, we max distance, max, uh, sorry, surface penetration on, and you'll have this red marker here. Okay, that's the basis for your cloth. And now if I hit play, I go back to scene. You can see we've got working cloth there at the moment. You can see there's like little bits and pieces that probably need to be fine-tuned and removed and stuff like that. Like the chain I could probably fix up and all that sort of stuff. That might require me to go back to Blender. Uh, now, as for your thing so it doesn't go through the legs and stuff, um, your boundaries and stuff like that. Easiest way of find for that, uh, navigate through your armature, hips, and I'm going to go to the left leg. I'm going to expand it and add, right-click create an empty object. I always like to do empty game objects because it's easier to move those around as opposed to moving the bone. We're going to create a 
new component and we want a capsule collider. You don't want the 2D one, you want the 3D one. Okay, we gotta make sure it is trigger. If you don't have is trigger on when you jump in the air, your model will just spin around in circles. Uh, it's the same method that they used to use to create flight and all that sort of stuff back in the day. I don't know if you can still use it for flight or not, um, but yeah, it's that method. So I'm bringing the radius down, uh, the height's down. Now you want it to be a little bit bigger than the leg. Okay, and see, normally you would have to play with this center value, but because we've got it on an empty game object, we can just move it down a little bit like so. Okay. I would probably name this empty game object too. So if you click on it and press F2, that'll give you the option to edit that. And say we'll call it a uh, left cap. Okay. What you can do to make life a lot easier too now is we can right click it and go duplicate, drag that onto the right leg. We'll rename it to uh, right cap. Okay and then we'll just shift it across to where it needs to go over here. Back on your dress, well, in my case, my dress, the, the thing that we've got our cloth component on, we come down the bottom here to capsule colliders. We set the value to two, because we've got two, we've got the right cap and the left cap. All right, drag them into the element section. Okay, and now if we go into play mode, We'll jump back into our scene. We can see that they're now sitting on top of the leg. It will, in my case, it's going to clip through on the butt. So I will, might have to put some capsules on the butt as well, or the butt bones. Uh, it's my left and right butt twist, I believe. Um, but you can see that's that's basis of how it goes. And then if I actually move the, the leg itself, you'll see that that's now interacting with the cloth perfectly. Do be wary with using these in VR chat. They can lag people, okay? Try not to have 50,000 polys in your skirt because, yes, it looks really nice, but that's what kills people, okay? It's not cloth itself, and I know VR chat's bringing out their own cloth as well, but yeah, this is if you want to use the old mechanic that's included in Unity. So I hope that helps you guys, and I hope that helps everyone as well. Um, but yeah, that's the problems that I was having. I had the first initial problem was getting the constraints to show up. Whenever I was clicking on dress and I was trying to edit the constraints, I just couldn't get them to show up. And no matter who I asked, no one had the answer for me. I fiddled around enough and worked out that it was because of this. Um, yeah, so just remember to save your layout first so you don't have to set that back up. Big stress, because I didn't save mine, didn't realize that's what it did. Uh, save your layout first and then change it back to default. Um, by changing it back to default, that allows you to edit the cloth. If it doesn't show up, okay, if it's still not showing up after you've done the default part, make sure that you've removed cloth, um, re-add it again. If it's still not showing up, relaunch your Unity while it's still got default there and active, okay? It's fine to save your scene and all that sort of stuff because you've already saved up the top here your layout and how it needs to be. Well, I hope this helps everyone, and yeah, nice short video for you guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next tutorial. Bye.